Well, welcome everybody to our Texas Veteran Strong Creative Networking meeting. It's, uh, I think it's going to be a small turnout today because I know a lot of the veteran organizations have a lot of events going on. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's what they've been telling me anyway. We had an event yesterday at the um, Carver Library where some artwork by veterans is hanging. And um, it was a little bit of a small turnout, but um, I know that there's so much going on. And there's, I think, an event by the city of Austin today that uh, Minnie was telling me about that she'll be at. Um, so, and uh, Cody, are you there? Are you busy? I wanted to say that Cody, I don't know if anybody else has seen him on television. Every time he comes on TV on the commercial, he's on a commercial. I'm like, no. I know him. What commercial? I what commercial? It's a, it's community. So it's for it's Coca Cola, I think. You have to tell us. I don't know if he's there available, but um, it seems to be some kind of com community collaboration with veterans and Coca Cola seems to be the sponsor of it. And um, he's just talking about his art, and it's got him in his studio. It's really great. Wow. Is he, he's based in Austin? San Antonio. Oh, San Antonio, okay. Yeah. Is it on all stations? I've seen it in Austin, but I can't, I'm, I don't know what station I'm usually watching when I see it. Yeah. Well, pay attention, April. I yeah. know, pay attention to what channel I'm watching. I don't know. Let's go. <laughs> oh, here we go, he's popped it up. He had oh, pop there it is. Quick. Did you hear us talking about you, Cody? How you're famous on TV on the commercial that I've seen you on, infamous. Infamous. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it's nice to see his face every once in a while because he never shows it on our meetings. <laughs> James, are you at home today? Nice. Get a day off. Yes. Yeah. Well, no, I'm I'm working from home and I am work. I'm working. So, we'll see what happens here. <laughs> and so our veteran exhibit at Bill House is opening up on the 18th. Excited about that. Um, did you get your piece all up? It yeah. is up. The, the displays are up. The electronics are up. I am still tweaking, but, you know, it, it's up. So... I'm in good shape. I think I have what another week and a half. Yeah. What was the last time you went by there? Did they have the art up yet? Pretty much. Um, I was there last weekend. Looking good. Yeah. Yeah. It was pretty much all hung. Yeah. I just dropped it off and left it to the, to the coordinator there. So. Yeah. Yeah. No. It'll be it'll be a good show. Um, I have to RSVP. I think I'm gonna RSVP for 15 people. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. Nice. Um, yeah. You no, know, I got to get the food there. I've got a friend working with me on trying to get donations. Oh, cool. Food, but what kind of food? What are you looking for? I don't for? know. Whatever we can get donated, like just oh, okay. raised from some caterers, you know. Yeah. Um, I haven't had any luck yet. Hopefully, uh, if not, we'll be buying something from H E B or whatnot. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. It'll be it'll be fun. It'll be nice. Um, I also have a piece up where I work. I work at A um, and M San Antonio, and so I have a, a piece up in the uh, vet center there. Um, so that's kind of cool too. What, what kind of art do you do? Um. For the most part, it's video installation is what I kind of do. But the the piece that's up at um, at work is a triptych, and I could probably throw it into the chat. Yeah, that's. I'm I'm getting worse at multitasking, but we'll see what happens. You'll have to give me a few moments, so. April, cue your your turn to talk while I do this. I was going to see if Pam wanted to tell us what's what's going on with Artemis Group. 
Well, um, I was just telling April, everybody, um, the Emporium Bakery in, in Austin um, it currently has a Women Veterans Art Show. It's up on the third floor. And one of our artists, um, Janie Gotts, um, has five, five of her works there, um, especially her Afghanistan collection, which is wonderful. And it's a beautiful setting. It's a tiny show if anybody's, um, uh, you know, in Austin. The Emporium Bakery is just opposite the state capitol. And um, I was just disappointed there weren't more because it was quite an event on Saturday with food and um, a live band and so on, all, all provided by, by um, veterans. So it, it was lovely. And um, I was just sorry that the, the, more people didn't attend or, or exhibit, but I said next year, maybe we'll try and make a bigger blast out of it though. It's worth it because the space is beautiful. And, um, and it, it really did have a, a very close sense of, of honoring women veterans. And there was at least three of them were there for the event. So we got to chat about their work and so on. So it was very, very nice, very informal, but beautifully done. Yeah, Linda is really um, the director there. She's really supportive of Ava oh, Fest. And, and Linda's fabulous. She's fabulous. She's fabulous. Yeah. She works closely with you too, doesn't she, April? Mm -hmm. Linda. Yeah. Yeah, she used to be at the MAC at the Mexican American Cultural Center, Ooh. and now she's at the uh, old bakery in Emporium. Yeah. Oh, okay. James put it in the chat. Okay, that's the same, the one we displayed in um, Wichita Falls. Okay. But you said you tweaked it a little bit, right? Just a little, not much. Just refined it a little more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to see the one in, in San Antonio. Yeah, the, the piece in San Antonio is five displays. Um, and it is regarding separation is the name of the piece. And it's dealing with separating from the military and personal identity. Here comes Trish. She can tell us about her event at the, um, well, I think they're having an event this weekend at Help Heal Vets. Hey, Trish. Hey, so sorry. Um, yeah, you can tell it's a little crazy around here, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, everybody, everybody's so busy. Yeah, we saw the um, veteran service officer yesterday from uh, Travis County and Huh. VA, they're just got so much going on right now. I, I can only stay on for a couple of minutes. So if I can plug That's real quick what we're doing Saturday, that would be awesome. I just want to make sure everybody knows about us. So um, if you have any veterans that are interested, that can bring their families too. We're having a big event on Saturday. It's with Ava Fest, but it's called the Cahill Center Showcase. And this thing has become rather exciting. We not only have... Um, two art exhibits. We have one with Frank Mendez. I'm sure you probably already know of him. Uh, he has his own exhibit going on. Plus he has some pieces in the other one, which is a veteran arts and crafts exhibit. Has everything from uh, uh, ex uh, projects that are done by patients from Fort Hood. Uh, Pete's patients there in Intrepid Spirit. He has them in there. Uh, my goodness, I think he has 25. And then we have everything from fine art to crafting there's even dioramas there's fiber work um it's pretty cool it's a quite an array of different items and um and then on top of it so oh this is this saturday veterans day four to seven so i tell everybody you all have parades and other stuff who knows what's all going to happen this weekend uh go home and take a nap and then come and visit us because uh we're going to have two comedians from ava fest uh, chris crawford's group going to be there and then uh, we have uh, J.W. Riza. He's an acoustic artist. He's going to be playing his guitar. And um, and then we have some really great speakers. One of them is Carrie Cahill. And uh, if anybody's a Walking Dead fan, she was on there for several years. And so her, her dad is also, and her mother are the ones that we also named our place the Cahill Center for. So uh, anyways, it's going to be really fun. Uh, everything's free. Space or is it Temple? No, oh, it's at Cultural Activity Center. So it's north of Temple uh, in front of the Mayborn Center and before you get to Bucky's. 
So we'll have signs up, banners, things like that. Uh, but yeah, you get off for the cultural activity center. Like I said, four to seven, everything's free. And we're going to have some cool swag stuff out there too. Oh, and we have a food truck, uh, Checkpoint Germany. They do like schnitzel and things like that. They're going to be out there. If anybody, that's the only thing it's going to cost. Everything else is free. And um, if nothing else, it's just to honor our veterans and um, hear how art can uh, heal. And um, I know about you, but I mean, I've been reading everywhere lately about how much, how awesome art is for people. And uh, it just really does something to me, to my heart, to, to see more people recognize the power of, of creativity. And so there's my little plug. Uh, if anybody has any questions at all, we're even on Facebook. It's the Help Heal Veterans Cahill Center and uh, all the flyers, everything is up there. And, uh, or if you go to avafest.org, they also have everything for Temple on there as well. So, uh, oh, thank you for sharing that. I appreciate it. So uh, yeah, I was just looking at the website. And yeah. And you. thank you for sharing everybody because we've got some really great artists. We had someone from Art uh, from Art Sparks, uh, Denise Nebel. in the show, right? Yay! Yes. Thank you. Oh, by the way, um, Channel 25, we've got someone interested. She might be calling you for an interview. Uh, that oh, she wanted okay. to talk to the actual artists. So uh, we've already been in the Temple Telegram and several other places. And uh, Glenn and I did an interview with, what's that called? Austin Wake Up or whatever that one is. The one oh, show. Good morning, Austin, maybe. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. We oh, did one. Cool. It's going to air tomorrow. So um, yeah. So we've really gotten the word out really good about Ava Fest this year and, yeah. and what we're doing up here in Temple. So again, thank you for all your guys' support. And once this is done, um, we'll be able to <laughs> focus again on something other than this. So um, I appreciate all the, the prayers and good thoughts, people. <laughs> yeah, good luck. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. All right, you guys have a good weekend. Yes, you too. You thank too. you. Yeah, I'm so glad that we decided to make our reception in San Antonio on the 18th just after the mayhem because it's just I was like eh, I don't think the 11th is a good idea because everybody's already so busy and um let's see oh right now also we're setting up for our holiday art and gift show which we have not done in a couple of years at Art Spark um just because of the pandemic and our new space we weren't sure how to make it work in our new space but we've got it figured out and um getting that set up this week it opens on Sunday for the we're part of the East Austin studio tour so um, I'm working on flyers for it right now I'll get it out to everybody but um, we're going to be open pretty much starting well this Sunday and then Tuesday through Friday we'll have kind of just regular hours and then um, be open on third Thursdays in the evening so um, definitely excited to get people into that because it's a nice show with you know several different artists um displaying their work denise came and helped me hang some of it yesterday and she already bought some things our first customer <laughs> yeah it's a lot of good stuff you can't help but buy it buy it when you're there um anybody else have a, uh, cody if you're able to talk if there's anything that you've got going on anything in San Antonio we don't know about or to put it in the chat if you want. I April, did you go ahead? Did you uh, want to mention the workshop on Sunday that we had? Oh yeah, I did want to mention that we had a really great workshop on Sunday at the Georgetown VFW um, beautiful uh, park that they're in right there in downtown Georgetown. I'm guessing it's downtown Georgetown. I just drove till I got there. So I really didn't know where I was. <laughs> You know, you follow GPS, you don't really know where you are. You just know you're there. So um, it was, um, we had a photographer teaching us phone photography skills, uh, just gave us some tips on using our phones. And we went out in the park and took pictures and, and wandered in the beautiful, it was beautiful weather. And then came back to the to the VFW and shared our pictures and then did um, cyanotypes or sun prints. That was really fun. Um, learned some new tricks on that too. And um, I've, I've got mine here, I think. Oh, here they are. Yeah, it was really fun. Those were some leaves. It looks like lemons, but I, I like it. 
and then this was just some random rocks that I thought would look cool on the side of the type. Um, and we had what maybe eight or eight or nine people there total. Right. It was, it was good. It was mm -hmm. fam for family members too, and that was nice to see the family members be a part of it. So we're hoping to do more of those things with, as um, Denise and I have to get our thinking caps on about the spring, what mm -hmm. we're gonna do. Um, I think we wanna, we kind of uh, fell off on doing the women veteran virtual one for the fall. So we wanna maybe try to schedule that for the spring and do one as well as in person. Um, we were looking at Government Canyon State Park near San Antonio and also uh, back out in Smithville at the um, park out there that we went to before. Busher. Or yeah, that's Fisher. 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 Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so we, it was a, it was an issue with it was an issue with uh, with not guaranteed funding too, right? So we kind of were holding off. Yeah, we were holding to off see about funding. We do have some funding from the Texas Commission on the Arts. Did you have like a, a retreat, a stay over retreat? You know, we had considered that, but um, it, it never really kind of came to be. We okay. mostly been doing just day, day of, because the feedback we got was, you know, nobody wants to camp anymore. <laughs> They're like, we did that. Yeah. We're not roughing it. <laughs> That's true. And We're like glamping. So we, <laughs> and well, we can't afford glamping, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because at Bisher they do at Bisher they do have those little small huts that you can you could do it overnight. Yeah, which is a little bit better than the tent and the cot, but yeah, they have like bunk beds I think in there, mm -hmm. uh, screened the shelters. So that's a possibility. But if anybody has any thoughts or ideas on um, like art art type lessons or activities that you are interested in let us know because we just sort of make them up as we go along what people might be interested in nobody had any updates or things you wanted to say were coming up okay well i guess you could talk about the meeting today then oh yeah at 12 30 we have the um at 12 30 our women veteran group um is as you know we've said before but it's pretty recent we moved it from the evening to an afternoon to try to get more people see try different times at times and see if we can get more people but it's 12 30 to 1 30 and we're going to do uh blackout poetry today so i'm going to lead that and um of course carol can chime in with, with what she's been doing too she's been doing some blackout poetry and so if you're coming to that uh for the women here bring your you know any kind of magazine book junk mail back of the cereal box whatever has writing on it and maybe a marker or a pen or yeah, you got a book there, Carol. That's <laughs> and we're going to try some of that and I'll show some of what I've got, what I've been doing and uh, give you some. This might be easy. Do. Oh yeah. I like that with the flowers, Carol. Yeah. Yeah. They'll definitely want to see some of that and April's. I only have one successful one, so I'm not showing mine. When did you do that? Uh, probably about two months ago now. Yeah. One, like one page? Yeah, just one. <laughs> I, only did oh. one. I, I mean, I want to do more. I'm on my second it, book, second and third book. Wow. I just, I, it was a little more challenging than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. I didn't give it enough uh once you get Focus. used to it, it will kind of flow, you know? Yep. Yeah. So. I mean, there's the more. art part, blocking out what you want to say, but then you go back and do the art part. So I'm trying to hurry up and do the word part. So when TV's on, I can do the art part, you know? Um, yeah. You got to not be distracted, I guess, too. Okay. Well, and I get too excited, and then I um accidentally black out the one word I wanted to use. Oh, I hate <laughs> oh, that. I get too excited with the marker. <laughs> yeah, and then so it like, well, there goes that poem. 
it changes the whole thing yeah, yeah i had to paint over one i'm like oh man i really wanted what that said <laughs> i know i know and then it's... and then we have a uh, yeah the sort of survey we decided to do um hold on sorry um that we decided to <clears throat> to see what is attracting the people to the Thursday meeting and to this meeting also, and so that we can use that to try to improve these, both of these events that we do. So, and we're gonna, we're looking at rebranding it, still gonna be Veterans Strong, but maybe make it like Veterans Strong Thursdays or something like that. And we're gonna have a Facebook page. Yes. That's, that's dedicated to the Veterans Strong Network. Yeah. I've been um, putting off actually creating it because I know when I create it, <laughs> I'll have to start keeping up with it. So I'm like, maybe that'll be a 2024 goal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Year's resolutions. <laughs> I like the idea of putting Thursday in the name because it's kind of reminder in itself, you know. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Because I was just asking Greg uh, yesterday, I think it was, I said, is this the second Thursday that's coming up? He goes, yeah, it's tomorrow. Are you registered? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we've noticed, obviously, that we get a lot more participants in this meeting in particular um, when we have a big, giant event coming up. Then we get all of the VA participants and all these other things. Now, obviously, this week is, as April said, because Veterans Day and everybody is just seriously crazy busy. But, um, yeah, so we're just looking at how to improve attendance and everything because the feedback that we've gotten is that this is a useful tool for people to share the events and what's going on. And um, But we are always open to improvement ideas. Yeah, um, next month we're going to have someone coming from Wounded Not Worthless. It's a group I've mm. never heard of. Oh, but, um, have you heard of them? No? No, nope, uh, I have not. I can't remember her name, but she also was, uh, she's an illustrator or an art, a visual artist, and she did the illustrations for a book that um, Lisa Furman wrote. Remember Lisa? She came to our one of our women veteran groups. She was uh, in... Oh yeah, our first maybe our first or second big virtual event. We had mm -hmm. um, her talking about, um, I think her upcoming book or one of her books that she had written, but she's got a new book out, and this other woman did the illustrations for it. So um, she's going to come to our next meeting to talk about Very that. Good. Where is that based? Wounded, not worthless. I guess they probably have an online. Yeah, she's got a website. I don't know where it's based. Okay. I don't think it's in Texas. Okay, so she's Lisa's, not in Texas. Lisa's in Texas. But I don't think she is. But I think she accepts artwork for her website by different artists. So I wanted her to come on and talk to us about it. What it is and how our artists can get involved. Okay. So that'll be at this meeting next month, which is going to be on December... 14th so we'll be having this meeting at 10 30 on december 14th but we are going to cancel the women veteran group that for that thursday because uh celia double booked our zoom account <laughs> so we don't have access to it so um we'll just pick back up in january for the women group mm -hmm. and that will be a junk journaling two-part yeah two-part class the january yeah february. january January, February, and uh, yeah, it's going to be how to prepare junk journaling pages and how to make a simple junk journal, but just to get people started. So is that the exciting. same thing as, what is it, some kind of book thing that you do? Does that have another name? You know, it's Alter Alter junk journal. Or Alter do what? Altered books? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they, that's, that can be part of it, yeah, but it's kind of like... Uh, a takeoff from all that photo journaling stuff folks were doing a couple of years ago for the last 10, 15 years, where they they make photo albums and they decorate the photo album all up. And but it's, oh. so it's kind of like an offshoot of that. Yeah. What did they call that? Scrapbooking? Scrapbooking. Yeah, scrapbooking. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. 
And so it's kind of like an offshoot of that. And they've gotten all kinds of fancy schmancy and, and yeah, it's a big thing right now. So. Good. Huh. Anxious to see. Curious. Yeah, I'm like, do I need another thing to, <laughs> that interests me that I need to do? Oh my gosh. So. Yeah, that's the thing. Cause it's like, they're always tempted. Oh, I know. Oh my God. No. Do I really want to do this? And then the materials that you have to go with each one and <laughs> yeah. Trying to keep order, which is what I'm yep. working on. Yep. But that's all I have, April. I guess we have a short meeting today, huh? Well, Kayla just joined us. Oh, good. Okay, great. Kayla's our artist of the month this month for November. Hi, Kayla. Congratulations. Read the blog on the website. Mm -hmm. How are you, Kayla? Good. Sorry. Having a busy Had a... week. Huh? Having a busy week. Yes, yes, I am. I just uh, got back from a high school program, so I was a little late. High school, not hostile. No, high school. Okay. Well, it could have been hostile, you know. Yes. Especially at a high school, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. No, it's those middle school kids, man. They're the ones who are. Right. I agree. Yes. I agree. Yes. Well, anything. Well, we. To report, Kayla, anything coming up we need to know about? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, none. We just, in my area, we're doing a our first ever Veterans Day um, honoring parade and celebration on Saturday. So, so that'll be kind of interesting. It'll be our first ever for our county. So, really, where are you? Um. Decatur out of Wise County. Decatur, Texas? Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Because there's a Decatur, Illinois. That yeah, I'm... Decatur, Texas. Okay. Yeah. And then that's about it before I head to San Antonio next next weekend. Yeah. We'll be there. That's when the show is next uh, next, next week. Next Saturday night. I like have an excuse to go to San Antonio. I just really like San Antonio and the food. Oh my God. In the marketplace. Yes. <laughs> San Antonio is one of my faves for sure. Yeah. Um, but that's, I mean, that's it besides getting busy, busy to get ready for a book launch in January. And there's just a lot of things going on. Yeah. That sounds exciting. What book launch? Um, it'll be my second book. So it'll be this one is called um, her powerful voice. Congratulations! Is it like um, it's a written? I mean, it, what is it? So the first one was a coffee table book. Um, it was more of because I'm also a photographer, so I work for Wise County Veteran Service Office. I'm an assistant service officer. Um, I'm also a commander at DAV, our local chapter. Oh, um, and then we. I do photography on the, the evenings and weekends. <laughs> so, um, but the, yeah, the first one was more of a, a sneak peek into different subjects and teaching kind of encouragement. And the second one will be more of a, you know, just kind of a, the kind of nitty gritty is what I call it. We're getting down to the struggles, um, what it takes, how you get to success. Um, encouragement working through those struggles and things like that so it's going to be a little more of the, a personal one than i've been putting off and putting off for years and finally i just rolled it out so man do you have a, a website we're in the process yeah we're in the actually in the process of completely overhaul the website so okay. um so this week we meant to release it this last weekend um, we had some kinks that happened when we released it so we had to kind of take it back down um, for a minute. And then uh, this week it should be going back live. So it's uh, KaylaUniqueEye.com. Kayla, can you say that? Oh, maybe put it in the chat. Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, put it in the chat. And then name your book because I'm curious both. That's so cool you did that. That's stuff I'd like to do among many others. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't know. Um, I met this, I, I was at a luncheon because I'm very community oriented. 
Um, I'm all about connecting and resources and um, veterans. So we just, I was at a luncheon, I ran into a publisher, we started talking and then we had coffee and then boom, the first book happened. <laughs> wow. I need to do that. That Way sounds do it, right. Yeah, that sounds great. Um, do you have any recommendations? Well, I guess if you had a publisher, you didn't self-publish. So I'm just wondering any recommendations. So I was wondering about like blurb books and stuff like that, if I should try that or. Well, the first one I went through a publisher because it was a little different. The coffee table book is a different size. It's a different. Um, he's a Christian publisher um, and it's local because I'm all about shop local. Um, mm -hmm. And but there is a printing company out of Abilene that printed it. So, oh, OK. Um, that's local, too. And then they do all types of books. They print all types. Um, so even if you self-publish, they could they could totally set that up for you. April. Yeah. Perhaps we could have her do a talk because I know a lot of people oh. would be interested in how yes. she was able to make things happen. Yeah. So perhaps she could be maybe one of our Thursday guests. Out, yeah. Maybe in the like for like February or March next year for our women um April group. Yeah, March or April. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying I thought you're saying her name. <laughs> no, March or April. I, I was yeah. talking. <laughs> <laughs> Does she not hear me? <laughs> Cody, are you typing something? All I see is ongoing things, but nothing else beyond that. Maybe you're typing something. I know um, um, Glenn wanted to come on the meeting, but he said he maybe going to come on the second half, but I haven't seen him yet. Um, he His event is um, this Friday at the Kalahari Resort in, in Round Rock. So okay. it's comedy. It's three bands. There's like the Peterson Brothers, who are a really good blues band, um, a rock band, and then a country band and comedians and it's free 6 30 p.m i think and uh so yeah that's close to you right right uh carol yeah it is okay yeah, so check it out. out we've got kayla's book her powerful voice releasing in january and then um cody put in the link to his video the, the um, video for veterans day yeah, I've been seeing it on TV. It's really cool. Solo show at the Carver in San Antonio. Oh, okay. Check that out. June 27th. That is so cool that you did this, uh, Kayla. <laughs> I seem to do a lot of things because I like to talk. <laughs> so I just kind of meet people. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I feel like I have a lot to teach and offer. Uh, it's just pinning it down, having an order, and then following through. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, I feel like I need direction. And if I had somebody, you know, to work with in that regard, that would, I don't know, I just feel like it might help, you know, because one well, book I want to do yeah, is just, any, any of the entrepreneurs, I mean, we all have to work together in encouragement and and to get where we need to be. So we mm -hmm. all have to, we all have different goals, but yet they're similar because we all want to advance and we all want to grow. So yeah, it's learn from each other. It's nice not to have to reinvent the wheel, <laughs> <laughs> right? And I know that um, the April, the um, that new art guild, yeah, new century art guild, um, they're doing a show in February. They do yeah. have an upcoming in February. Um, I think I'm gonna have to flyer. I believe that one's in Houston, though. Oh, okay. I believe That's the right. September, I believe London. the February show is in Houston. No, it's in San Antonio, actually. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's in San Antonio. Um, I can email you the flyer that they sent me. Um, That'd be great. They're looking for artists. 
And I know they're supposed to be in September of next year. They're supposed to be back in DFW area. So. Okay, good. We'll have to get the word out about those. And um, Maria, who's on here sometimes, she's got a class coming up in Amarillo with Create Events. Um, they're doing, I think, glass, glass ornaments. I don't know if they're doing glass blowing or what, but it looked interesting. I put it in our most recent newsletter. So yeah, any flyers like that, I can get it out in our next newsletter for sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll send those flyers because I think I just got it in my email. Thank you. So, Kayla, how far are you from Austin? Uh, well, what, two, two and a half? Okay. Hours, a near what city? I'm Decatur, so I'm near Fort Worth. Oh, Fort Worth. Decatur, okay. Fort Worth area. Yeah. yeah. Good place for steak. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go there to have good steak. I mean, I don't know why it's hard to find good steak in Texas, but for some reason, we've not had any luck. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I believe it's two, two and a half, maybe, give or take. It depends on traffic. But not too bad. Um, I know March 1st, I will be, because I actually have... Um, a friend out of Indiana that kind of runs the, the photography stuff um, on a day-to-day -day basis while I'm working full-time. So, um, but March 1st, I think we're doing, we're starting a book tour and then we're starting conferences and um, networking things. So she's making my schedule. Um, so that would be, we could always throw in something about, um, you know, the how-tos on self-publishing and author and stuff and and putting your life into a story, so. Yeah, that's a great idea. Well, that'd be an encyclopedia set, I think. <laughs> hey, you know, when you pick one out, I think there is seven total that will be rolled out is what the plan is, so you wow. never know. That first one may be your step to the next one. Yeah, there you go. Make it a series. Uh-huh. Instead of, yeah, keep them wanting more. Yeah. And then release one each year. So mm -hmm. each year they get a new, like, new chapter, new journey. It's just, it's nice to actually talk to someone that's done it because there's a lot of information out there. But in, in that, it's almost kind of overwhelming. Which one is the good advice? And you know what mm -hmm. I mean? Yeah. What are the options of ways you could go and consider, you know, without reading a hundred different, you know? And there's a tons of grants. Um, so I have found there is a ton of grants. There's to be an author, they give all grants out um, that you could pay for your first year publishing. Um, then there's grants for artists. Uh, Dallas Museum of Art is doing a grant right now that's open. Um, TWU, Texas Women's University out of Denton, does grants that they get grants for veterans and, and entrepreneurs all over Texas. So, Do you have to be in the area, in that town? Mm -mm. No? No, because the ones that, the one of the grants that they just released, the winners, um, they're from Houston to Austin to San, I mean, they're all over Texas. Um, so it's not a, a set, but they're, they're out there. You just need to know where to look. Where would you start with that? Do you mind? Is this off topic? I don't know. No, this is fine. Texas Women's University was the one that she mentioned. Okay. I've heard of that one before. Yes. Um, so someone told me about it and then I inquired. So they have a Facebook page um, that is a wealth of information oh. on what they post. Um, they post almost daily on there and they even they also have a page that's just for veterans, um, women veterans, and they give business advice, they give tax advice. I mean, you anything you want to know, you can find out. So um, Texas plan. Do I look under Texas Women's University Facebook page? Yeah, let me get the link and I'll pop it in the chat real quick. Thank you. I like when it's easy. <laughs> yeah. The thing about a grant to me that would also be valuable is 
it's you have to be accountable to someone to follow through you know what i mean that's why i say i need you know direction would be great oh, yeah because because <clears throat> texas women university and those are for women but the other ones i'm talking about is like um dallas art museum oh dallas art museum has one as well they have grant opportunities but they're for any artist um whether you're a male or a female so um they could be and that right now their grant program is open it's open until march so wonderful and you don't have to be in the dallas area for the dallas art museum one uh, let's see. i don't think so um let me look at their page i used to be a member of them oddly enough but also getting with your local art, I mean, your local art guilds or your local, um, like, um, art associations, things like that. They always do, sometimes they do sponsorships and scholarships and grants and they do trainings and open calls and oh. so you're an artist of all kinds. There's, there's things out there to, but there's always free advertising too um because obviously if you're a small business or you're an artist we don't you know we don't have a lot of funds for the marketing side of things so to get our name out there and to to get our art out there then we'd need to you know there's different ways to do that but also at a either free or low cost um there's lots of online magazines that do things for free you know there's lots of things that can be beneficial. Carol, does Round Rock have an arts guild? Uh, I don't know if they have an arts guild. They just have the Round Rock Arts Center. Right. Okay. Yeah. Round Rock Arts. That's right. That's kind. Of, maybe that's kind of like an art guild. Well, they may. They may have like an association or something associated with it. Let's see which one. That Round Rock Arts is pretty. They do a lot. Yeah, I've been wanting to go to the Hogg Foundation and do research on grants because right. as I did before, man, they're so good there. Yeah, you they're know? so helpful. You just tell them kind of your specificities and they'll find a grant like right for you. Like Yeah, they you point you to you do art. Oh, here's a grant for you. Yeah. Like, they know. And what is it? It's called the Hogg Foundation. H O G G. Oh, founded okay. by I'm a Hogg. It really was her name. I M A. <laughs> yeah, it's a research facility here in Austin, but hosted by the University of Texas. And but it's just, open. Yeah, a anybody. whole library full of just scholarship application information. And the person they had there not only points you to the grants. If you write the grant, you got to write the grant yourself. But you can bring it back in and they'll help you retool it to be more favorable to be accepted because they know about those kind of things. Yeah. Well, that's good. It's yeah. Resource. So I have no excuse. I don't want to keep everybody if you've got other things to do. I know it's kind of short today because a lot of people were busy with Veterans Day things. Um, but we are meeting again at 1230 for our women veteran group and we'll be doing the, the blackout poetry is the topic today so if you want to join us back here in a little over an hour we'll be here you think anybody could read my notes <laughs> i don't know as long as you can read them or greg can read them and tell you what they say yeah yeah greg greg is like why do you write on little piece of paper because when i write on big piece of paper it's all over the place <laughs> thanks you guys yeah good to see everybody bye Pam bye see you in an hour <laughs> yeah <laughs>